on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about halloween ends we'll talk about i know what you did last summer we'll talk about buffy the vampire slayer and then lastly we'll talk about this small information or this hilarious update about the terrifier 3 hotline phone number that came out a few days ago now starting off here with halloween ends david gordon green has acknowledged the disconnect that halloween ends caused during an interview with IndieWire. He said, as you see with the Halloween movies, the choices I make aren't always the most popular ones. So it's trying to make something that me and my great friends at Blumhouse and Morgan Creek want for that property to be fulfilled. As much as the audience is there and has the appetite for it, I don't think they were on the journey I was excited about taking. I mean, at this point, what was even the original story? What was the original plan? Because if you remember, Corey wasn't even their original plan from what I recall. It changed during COVID or something is what had previously been reported. If I'm remembering this correctly, there was a time in which we weren't going to have this as our Halloween ends. What was the original Halloween ends going to even be? I'd love to know what the original plan involved because I'm sure fans would have preferred that. Some part of me admires his confidence to take big swings, but at the same time, I'm also like, your swing was way too big and it didn't work out, work out all that well. I'm not saying Halloween Ends was the worst movie ever in the franchise because it wasn't. It just was something that felt like it should have been the relaunch to the franchise. It felt like it should have been the relaunch to Halloween 2018 was and Halloween 2018 should have been Halloween Ends. It just felt out of order. Now, we're going to talk about I Know What You Did last summer. Deadline has reported that Chase Soy Wonders is in talks to join Sony's reboot of I Know What You Did Last Summer. Deal terms are being finalized. It says the Bodies Bodies actress will join previously announced Madeline Klein, Sarah Pigeon, Tariq Withers, and Jonah King. Now, we told you a few days ago that Riverdale actress Camila Mendez had to vacate the Sony horror title due to her production schedule with the upcoming Masters of the Universe Mattel movie at Amazon MGM Studios. How convenient is it that we got this report considering my last update video where I went over Chase being followed by a couple cast members? Camilla has been gone for a while. I want to point that out. It's important to remember news breaking doesn't mean the event just occurred at the time of the report because that's way too fast. You did not lose Camilla a couple days ago and now all of a sudden Chase is in talks. No, Camilla dropped out a few weeks ago, probably a month ago. And Chase has been in talks ever since then, and now a deal is being finalized. Call it a downgrade, call it an upgrade. I just wanted a film that washes away that nasty director video mess. And if memory serves me correctly, I have seen photos of these two ladies hanging out, so it would appear that they are actually good friends of sorts, or at least friendly with one another. So you guys can let me know, let me know what you think about Choice or Chase joining this film project down in the comment section below. Who would you have rather had? Would you rather had Chase or would you rather had Camila? Chase, from what I recall, wasn't bad in Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. I haven't seen her in much of anything else since then. So I can't wait to see what she does in I Know What You Did Last Summer. So we're going to now jump into talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer wrapped several years ago, over a decade, over two decades ago at this point. James Marsters was on the Inside of You podcast where he discussed how the season six essay scene had an impact on him and sent him into therapy. He said, Buffy sent me into therapy, actually. Buffy crushed me. There was a scene where I was paired with Buffy and she breaks up with me and then I go and force myself on her and then she kicks me through a wall. Now, that's not exactly how it happened. He didn't go through a wall. <laughs> he said, it's a problematic scene for a lot of people who like the show and it's the darkest professional day of my life. Now, he has talked about this in the past. Many of you might remember the episode. It was titled Scene Red. But I didn't know this part about the reasons why we had that scene. During another interview with Radio Times, I guess he gave this last year, Marsters went over how the writers were trying to end Spuffy for good with that scene. He said they were very frustrated because they couldn't convince the audience to stop rooting for Spike. They did not want the audience to say Spike and Buffy forever. That's just not what they were going for. They kept having me do worse and worse things, trying to get people to realize even Spike at one point goes, hey, guys, I'm evil because the audience refused to do that. They finally landed on that scene. I mean, yeah, you did land on that scene, but then you kind of. I just don't understand the thought process because it felt as though in season seven during certain sequences, if you've been following me on Twitter, I can point this scene out. The scene in Touched where Spike gets on his knees and gives that amazing, wonderful, beautiful speech to Buffy after she's been kicked out of her house by those ungrateful idiots. That 
scene alone does nothing but kind of just push Spuffy further. And the reason it pushes that further is because the show did such a great job highlighting that these are not the same people. Who who this is with a soul versus without a soul, it's not the same. The demon doesn't get your soul. It only gets your body. So this person speaking to Buffy on their knee has the memories of what that demon did. But this is William, William the Bloody and his awful poetry talking with all the memories of what his demonic self did. So when you give me a scene like that, you're you're in a way already conditioning your audience further to keep separating soulless Spike from Spike with a soul. So if you wanted Spuffy to end, why include a scene like that in touch? And then you capped it off with him doing the utmost selfless act in Chosen when he sacrificed himself to close the Hellmouth. Uh, I, I just don't I don't get it. I don't get why Spuffy was something they wanted to end so badly, but then you kind of backtracked on it anyway with how you handled Spike in season seven, whatever. And it's not gonna help matters either when James is just that great of an actor. He was brilliant in the role. He's He was very charismatic and very charming. So it was gonna be a, a, a hard battle to sell if you didn't want your audience to be into Spuffy. I don't get it. Last thing we're gonna talk about here is gonna be Terrifier 3. Now Terrifier 3, or Ark the Clown I should say, if you call that hotline number, you'll get a penny <laughs> sent to you if you have a Venmo account. Now, Discussing Films pointed this out. If any of you have gotten this penny, please let me know because I have not gotten a damn thing since I've called that number. All I got was art honking in what many assume to be cold, and then I got hung up on. I didn't get a single line of dialogue. I tried to ask the man what his favorite scary movie was. I tried to ask him what he wanted to have for lunch, dinner. I tried to get to know what his favorite color was. I, he wasn't interested. He just wanted to honk that horn. He didn't even give me a penny. One last thing I guess we can talk about is Chucky because there was a small update about Chucky season four from Zachary Arthur once again who managed to catch up with or Dead Meat managed to catch up with him at Halloween Horror Nights they asked him about Chucky season four and Zachary's answer was Don told me to say stay tuned so I don't want to say that that means that again we're getting season four if anything I think the most important takeaway from that story wise is that Jake is not done with Chucky Chucky is not done with Jake and in hindsight I'm fine with that considering that one of my biggest gripes with season three was how one-dimensional Jake and Devin were in season three Lexi herself, of course, was almost there. But Lexi, again, at this present stage, if you're comparing them, Lexi has more skin in the game. She has more of a reason to keep going after Chucky. Chucky has done so much more to her and continues to still be doing so much more to her as opposed to Jake and Devin. So I would hope Zachary's excitement about whatever is going to come has something to do with getting Jake back on track giving Jake a reason to still be around and not just because I'm Lexi's friend. Chucky did this to me a couple years ago. Like there needs to be something still ongoing here. Something still needs to be ongoing. The, the fact that Jake started off as the main protagonist and has kind of shifted into this one dimensional character is not really something I like seeing. I think there's still something that can be done with Jake. Now, as far as Devin goes, I don't know. I think Devin might be a lost cause. But hopefully this means that Jake will get his act together in whatever new iteration of Chucky we have coming our way because something is coming. If anything, I expect it to be the announcement of season four with the reveal of what the name of the next movie will be. That confirms that Jake will be featured in both. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. You can name this video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message, message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.